Hi everybody, this video is going to cover some terminology. Specifically, we'll look at the difference between acidemia and acidosis, and then also alkalemia and alkalosis. And then we'll give some examples here uh, to hope, so hopefully solidify these differences. So let's take a look at the top two here, acidemia and acidosis. Both of them have the same prefix, acid. So what does this mean? Well, it's going to have a lot of hydrogen ions, which a lot of hydrogen ions is going to drive down the pH. So in both of these, we're looking at something with a low pH. But they have different suffixes. One has emia as a suffix, and one has osis as, as the uh, suffix. So in acidemia, you're going to have a state of being acidic, so a low pH. And what does the emia add to it? Well, you may have seen emia as a suffix to another word, like anemia. Anemia is the state of having a low red blood cell count. So it's, uh, it's the state of having the low blood count. So let's erase that. So acidemia is the state of having a acidic blood level. So it's going to be a state of having a pH of less than 7.35. So our normal physiologic pH range is somewhere between 7.35 and 7.45. Um, we are talking about this end of the spectrum down here. When the pH range of our blood is less than 7.35, we have an acidemia. Now, what is an acidosis then? The osis is a suffix for meaning process of. So we're going to be talking about what gives us an acid process. So the process of being acidic. All right, so let's give an example of this. Acidemia is the state of being in a pH level of less than 7.35. So we could be at 7.10, for example. This patient would have an acidemia. Now, what is causing their acidosis? What's causing that process? So for an example, we could be talking about a metabolic acidosis. A metabolic acidosis. Or we could be talking about a respiratory acidosis. So either a metabolic issues going on, like they're not metabolizing a certain uh, thing correctly, which is causing a buildup of acid, or uh, they could have a respiratory acidosis such as uh, COPD, where they are not getting their uh, CO2 um, out as efficiently, and this is causing a buildup of acid within the blood. So acidosis is a process of being acidic. So in this case, it would be a metabolic process that is causing the acidic state. The patient would have an acidemia if they had a pH of 7.10, but the process that's causing it would be the metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis. So now let's go ahead and Call that good. And let's take a look at the alkalemia versus alkalosis. Both of them have a prefix of alkyl, which means that we're going to have a pH of uh, something in the higher end, higher than 7.45, above physiologic pH. So we're going to have uh, very few hydrogen ions, which is going to be causing uh, this, this higher pH. Now we have the state of being as the, as the suffix here, emia. So we're going to have a state of being at a higher pH, so greater than 7.45 pH. Alkalemia simply means that the blood pH level is more than 7.45. So let's go ahead and take a look at alkalosis here. Osis, remember, is the process of being. So we have the process of being 
alkalitic. So being above 7.45 pH. So what could give us a process of being alkalitic? Well, we have metabolic alkalosis. That could be a metabolic issue where uh, we get rid of all of our hydrogen ions, giving us a metabolic state of, of uh, being above 7.45 pH, or we could do a respiratory alkalosis. Um, an example of this would be uh, such as hyperventilation. Whether they're on a respirator, uh, a ventilator, and they're being breathed too fast, where you breathe off all of your CO2. If all of your CO2 is being breathed off, um, it is going to raise your pH into a higher state. Or in the opposite state, such as COPD, where you retain CO2, you're going to have more of an acidic state, so you're going to have an acidemia versus in hyperventilation where you'll have an alkalemia. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Otherwise, hope you found this video useful and hopefully you won't make the mistake of confusing acidemia, acidosis, alkalemia, and alkalosis in the future. Thank you very much.